The Trudeau government recently introduced Bill C-63, also known as the Online Harms Act, aimed at regulating a wide range of online content. While the bill addresses serious issues like child sexual abuse imagery and non-consensual intimate image sharing, it poses significant concerns, especially regarding freedom of speech. The first part of the bill focuses on combating child sexual abuse imagery and revenge porn. It proposes strengthening reporting obligations for online platforms, creating a digital safety commission, and addressing AI-generated fake images. While these measures are commendable, they seem designed to deflect criticism from the more controversial aspects of the legislation. The second part of Bill C-63 addresses online hate, increasing penalties for hate speech and creating a new standalone offense motivated by hatred. This raises questions about the definition of hate speech, as the bill relies on subjective terms like detestation and vilification. The potential consequences include criminalizing statements that may be deemed offensive or controversial, leading to self-censorship and an increased risk of punishment for expressing opinions. Furthermore, the legislation proposes reviving Section 13 of the Canadian Human Rights Act, which could result in a civil remedy for alleged instances of hate speech. This move may encourage an influx of frivolous complaints and a chilling effect on free expression. Bill C-63 also imposes responsibilities on social media platforms to police their users and report harmful content, with substantial fines for non-compliance. Additionally, the bill allows for a preventative criminal restraint on suspected future speech, raising concerns about potential overreach. While the intention to combat child sexual abuse is valid, the inclusion of online hate provisions in the same legislation creates constitutional challenges. It is crucial to address these concerns to ensure a balance between protecting individuals from harm and upholding freedom of expression. If you share these concerns, consider reaching out to your member of parliament to advocate for a more nuanced approach to legislation. Here's a detailed breakdown of the pros and cons of Bill C-63. Pros Addressing child sexual abuse imagery The bill strengthens reporting obligations for online platforms, making it mandatory for them to proactively report and remove child sexual abuse imagery. This aims to protect vulnerable individuals and combat illegal activities online. Combating revenge porn Bill C-63 addresses the issue of non-consensual intimate image sharing, revenge porn, offering protection against the malicious dissemination of private content without consent. AI-generated fake images The bill recognizes the threat of AI-generated fake images and proposes measures to tackle them. This reflects an understanding of evolving online risks and attempts to stay ahead of technological challenges. Digital Safety Commission The creation of a Digital Safety Commission provides a platform for individuals to report abusive imagery empowering citizens to actively contribute to online safety. Penalties for hate speech Bill C-63 increases penalties for hate speech, demonstrating a commitment to addressing online hate and discrimination, fostering a safer online environment. Cons Subjectivity in hate speech definition 
The bill relies on subjective terms such as detestation and vilification to define hate speech. This subjectivity may lead to interpretation challenges and potential overreach in identifying what constitutes hate speech. Chilling effect on free expression The proposed penalties for hate speech and the reintroduction of a civil remedy may create a chilling effect on free expression. Individuals may self-censor out of fear of facing severe consequences for expressing controversial or unpopular opinions. Frivolous complaints The legislation may lead to an inundation of frivolous complaints, overwhelming the system and diverting resources away from genuine cases. This could hinder the effectiveness of addressing legitimate instances of harm. Lack of clarity in hate speech definition The bill's reliance on the Supreme Court's definition of hate speech, while attempting to provide clarity, still leaves room for uncertainty. Determining the line between legal speech and hate speech remains challenging. Preventative criminal restraint Allowing preventative criminal restraint on suspected future speech raises concerns about potential abuse and infringes on individuals' rights. This provision may lead to restraining orders based on subjective suspicions rather than clear evidence of an imminent threat. Social media platform responsibilities. Imposing responsibilities on social media platforms to police their users may result in increased censorship. The vague definition of harmful content could lead to overreach, affecting legitimate expression and discourse. Combining unrelated issues. The bill combines child sexual abuse and hate speech provisions, potentially risking the former's effectiveness. The association may lead to constitutional challenges and unintended consequences for child protection measures. Overall assessment. Bill C-63 presents a mixed approach, addressing serious issues but raising concerns about potential impacts on free expression and the potential for abuse. Balancing the protection of vulnerable individuals with upholding fundamental rights requires careful consideration and refinement of the proposed measures. Advocacy for a more nuanced and targeted approach is essential to address the outlined challenges. It is crucial to address these concerns to ensure a balance between protecting individuals from harm and upholding freedom of expression.